Okay, hey guys. Uh, so actually, before we get started, I just wanted to take a second and brag on the back of my the setup on our desk. Actually, my sister set this up, and I think it looks really, really cool um, and kind of vintagey and rustic looking. Um, she's just done this. She's changed everything up recently, and I think it looks really neat. And so I just want to show you. That's going to be the background of my videos now. Um, so, anyways, um, today I have for you Anakin Skywalker's spirit. And this was actually a spontaneous figure, uh, to say the least, that um, I, we were vintage shopping and um, walking through an antique mall and they had this figure for like eight ninety five, and I went ahead and bought it. I'm like, hey, this is we're paying. Shopping. Yeah, that's what I said. Vintage shopping, antique, whatever. Um, I'm a Star Wars collector. It's vintage shopping. Anyways, and so um, I went ahead and picked him up and because hey, why not? And I don't have this figure. And I have nothing to review, so I figured I'd go ahead and do that. Um, first of all, let's take a look at his card back. I am, like, obsessed and mesmerized by the color blue of this card back. It's so pretty. I don't know why. Are the other ones this blue? No, because I think most of them are, like, red or something. It's so pretty. But it's 30th anniversary. Gosh, the blue's so pretty. Like, my favorite color is purple, but I, like, am in love with this color blue. I don't know. Um, on the back... You have just the picture of the figure, the picture of Hayden Christensen, and I love this scene because I had a crush on Hayden Christensen when I was little, <laughs> when this movie first came out, um, and then the rest in the wave. I wish that the seller who had had this in their little antique booth had had, like, Force Unleashed figures. That would be awesome because I don't have any, um, but they don't. So the character profile is actually kind of funny to me. Um, it says that his species is apparition status saved from the dark side weapon of choice loyalty and love and characteristics died to save his son so i really love that anakin skywalker's weapon of choice is loyalty and love it's very pacifist pacifistic that's not a word um sorry sorry i had to throw some message anyways yeah Unity, loyalty, and I can't want to say unity. Loyalty and love. Um, I don't think those were any really of Anakin's traits ever. But anyways, so moving on. Am I a little bit critical today? I don't know. Um, here is his lightsaber, which is not too terrible on the detail. Um, they do have some color differences, better than some of the Black Series figures that we have. And it comes apart at the hilt, like that. Let me put it back real quick. And I break those all the time when I was little. I had so many that are glued back together. So here's the figure itself. And I do like the fact that it comes with a stand. Um, this this type of stand, stand I really like um, just because they're thin and they say the name of the character. They're good for displaying, I think. Um, and so I'm disappointed this didn't come with a coin, but hey, whatever. Um, it was spontaneous. Anyways, so this Anakin Skywalker is really shimmery. His cloak is like a fairy cloak or something, like made with fairy dust, like Tinkerbell's fairy dust cloak. That's just what I think of automatically. Um, but I think that it's cool that he's like really like all white, you know, it's just supposed to represent his, I guess, repentance from evil. Um, and that he's going to be happy in the forest wherever he goes. Anyways, um, this is soft goods here. This is like a soft plastic. Um, he, I think this figure would be a lot. Can we not? I think that this figure... I think I've gotten onto this before. Air collects to open figures while I'm doing reviews. Um, anyways, and he's got, like, these, like... He'd be better if he didn't have these decrepit arms that, like, curve at a right angle. So he's, like, automatically going, like... Um, which is weird. Um, his torso is actually really, really clear. Um, you can see the, the shadow of my finger behind it just moving it back and forth, which is crazy. Um... And then his face, let me move to the bubble of knowledge. Where are you? Whoo! No, that, there we go. Um, so his face isn't actually too terribly bad for, from Hayden Christensen's. For some reason, his eyes remind me of a vintage figure. Uh, but it's not, like, too awful, honestly. I think we've gotten some worse Black Series figures. Um, and then his hood isn't too terribly bad either. Um, it's not, like, an overabundance of fabric like a lot of them are. I mean, it's a lot of fabric, but it's not too terribly bad. And you can flip it up and kind of like that, so... Yeah, and they got his hairstyle right, at least. So, I mean, he's kind of a cool figure. Um, he's definitely unique, especially since you probably have a thousand Anakins that are really, really dark, um, in dark cloaks um, and tunics and, and outfits. So this is definitely a um, nice relief. Um, I think that the, the tunic is actually cut pretty well, um, 
but you know, not bad for a figure for you know a figure after a character that just stands and smiles at Luke um, in the very end. I actually have a a Luke. I thought he was a Jedi spirit for the longest time. He's just a hologram. Um, yeah, because I'm stupid and I'm like, when was Luke ever a Jedi spirit? But he was just a hologram from Jabba's palace. Um, anyways, this Anakin is actually a spirit. Um, I know that they also had like hologram action figures, like they had like Kiati Munda and 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 Ayla Secura and. I just had a problem buying those all blue figures. It was like I could just get the colored one and that would be better. Anyways, um, so that's this figure. And it was kind of spontaneous. Um, I just have had nothing in my area. I've been checking my Walgreens is, 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 um, for the Black Series. The new Black Series that people seem to be getting like Chewbacca and the concept of Fett, and I like I am convinced that my Walgreens never held, held Star Wars toys whatsoever um and I've been checking my Toys R Us Walmart targets all in my area like every single one in my area and kind of out of my area too and nothing has popped up that's new I mean like Toys R Us has gotten a lot of new stuff but at the same time they don't have anything new and by that I mean like they've given us a lot of new random things and like no new figures i remember back in like 2005 i mean when when something new came out you just and even in, even in 2008 i mean don't y'all guys just remember going into toys r us and there was just a wall of figures and then a few accessories like you know like uh, a blaster or a stuffed animal or something like that and now i feel like it's complete opposite so that's slightly annoying but i mean what can they do they don't really have anything to market at the moment, other than Rebels, which they're waiting until the episodes come out. Um, I think that once we hit the new um, movie, it'll definitely be a lot easier, and hopefully we'll see that um, awesome flow of figures again. But not the overabundance of the Phantom Menace figures, because nobody needs that again. Um, so, oh yeah, before um, I tune out today, I just wanted to let you guys know, for y'all who like Marvel, um, that up here, if you can see, I got a bunch of Marvel... And then, let me see if I can maneuver this. Down here, we've got some big Marvel scales. My sister is actually reviewing figures, um, Marvel figures. Um, her channel is Disney Geek 95 and she reviews the figures. So y'all can go, uh, please check her out. I'll leave a link at the bottom. Um, she's got quite a few figures, more than what's displayed. Um, and she's also she also does some Disney stuff. And I think she's going to start doing some other things as well, um, just to kind of give the channel a pop culture feel. Anyways, it's really cool, so I'll link a, uh, I'll put a link at the bottom of this video, and, oh yeah, and stay tuned. Okay, mark off, mark on your calendars, guys, this review for on Wednesday, um, which is gonna be this. Okay, now don't wet your pants in anticip anticipation. Yeah, anticipation. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and review one of these. Oh lord, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm just I'm desperate to review something, and so we're going to get a review of this, so mark it on your calendar and be eagerly awaiting for this video because it's going to be exciting. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, um, and have a great day. I'll see you all on Wednesday.